I'm going to be doing a stealth operative tutorial on the withdrawal. I've done this before and this includes ferrying. You don't have to do it, but it's nice. It's a nice simple way to do it. Uh. I hate the fact that I always get a bowl cut. <sighs> okay, so it's plan A. You cannot stealth plan B, and that is a fact. First step, drop your bag. Uh, you either need a lock pick or a drill with precision drilling, or... No, not precision drilling. You either need a silent drill, a lock pick, or a uh, or a blowtorch for this. So firstly, you must disable this camera um, because it's the only way to lure a guard to this spot. Hide in the hedges because no one can see you. I recommend bringing a cheap loadout, which is only like fifty bucks. But it doesn't really matter if you've already got all the weapons you want anyway. Wait for most of the civilians to like clear out. Take the guard hostage. And move him here. Where nobody can see him. Uh, put, stick him in a bag and run back to spawn. The good, the good thing is, is that you're practically invisible when you're undisguised, so stick the bag here and take the disguise. The next step is to run around here like a maniac. Uh, don't catch anybody's eye um, oh, and open that window. Uh, bring down the ladder too. Next, uh, find the key card. It's safest to jump on the desk, but um, it's not exactly like safe in real life to jump on desks. Uh, next, find all key card rooms, and you might as well want to like take out the camera operator. Open the door behind this dude, uh, raise his suspicion meter to two bars. And then make him clear out, because that's what guards do. Uh, knock out this guy, and chuck him in a corner. Next, you must go and search the server room. Search the PC. And... Hope for the best. Sometimes it will just tell you straight away. Sometimes... It just sucks. Like, seriously. It gives, it says, find an employee, interrogate, interrogate him. Like, what kind of nonsense is that? And sometimes you have to inspect them. It's just a longer process. But if it just tells you straight, uh, get this guard to, like, clear out. If any if anybody sees you, raise their suspicion meter to two bars and wait, and they will clear out. Um, it saves your progress, which is good. So then you gotta take a disguise from the van. Oh, oh no 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 no! I'm exiting the building. What is wrong? Um. 
Take the disguise from the bag. Um, make sure that guard clears out because he's really, it's really bad when when you encounter him. Also, if you have the charmer hair, uh, you you it says Ryan Ross instead of Alex Shaw. It's a it's a fun addition, but this is a this is like a Halcyon Bank, I think. Um, or something like that. Uh, yeah. I don't know why there's a camera there. Wait for the manager to burst that door open. Uh, he'll come through. And then do this. And then hostage everybody in the line. Knock out these two guards. And take the manager to the keypad. You have to have taken out because they're first, because there is a security camera in the vault. Uh, knock everybody out. And look, and uh, take down both the doors. When both the doors are down, wait until the employee comes over. Um, the employee might take some time to come. So, I recommend just opening the doors and waiting. I like the marble floor. Oh, that is the C4 spot. I can finally see it now. Oh, it took me so long. It's one on the wall. Oh, you gotta take a guard disguise, by the way. Um, that's why you're knocking him out. It makes you suspicious if you're doing so. Like, ripping off some. Okay, now that the employee is coming, um, when they... When they come through the doors, uh, just take them out. So now you're free to take the money from the bag. If you're using a loud drill, it will lure in more employees. And that's just a pain in the neck. So I recommend you don't do that. Um, if, so if, so if, you, if you really want to stealth it, like uh, you should go upstairs because it's a safer route. And there are less guards. And then you've got to like ferry all the cash down there. And wait for the guards to clear out. There, job done. Jump down the stairs and keep repeating this progress until all of the cash bags are down the balcony. <laughs> uh, too bad I don't have any editing skills and I can't put on some music in the meantime or speed the video up. So I'm sorry, uh, just skip through it because I don't know the times of this video and I don't and I and I'm not advanced enough to know like chapters and stuff yet because I'm I've Basic. I'm basically a starter YouTuber. Um, the guard will clear out after you take him down two bars. Okay, and then just keep fer ferrying. This is a safer way because you don't want to go all the way around. And yeah, I have nothing to say for the for this part. Uh, so, like, I hope you enjoy watching me fer ferrying stuff. And going on, like, full <laughs> gas mode. I'm not very good at entry point, but I'm level 63 anyway, so... Yeah. Keep chucking bags. So that's three bags done. You can also jump down here. It's a quicker way. Um, and then you've got to do the other side. <laughs> well, 
What I like to do at the at the end of these is to close the doors like nothing ever happened. But you don't have to do that. It's not a vital step, but it's my vital step anyway. I like how there's just this like mess in here. Like something gone really wrong here. And nobody knows what happened. And also it's a good idea to use a, la a non-laggy PC. Surprise no civilians can see literally like cash bags everywhere. And make sure nobody sees you open that door because you're considered trespassing in the vault room. Um, yeah. Alex Shaw. Who the heck is Alex Shaw? Is the freelancer's name Alex Shaw? Or something like that. And you've got to keep like luring this guard if he like does that. Hide down here. He'll clear out. Uh, yeah, make sure you don't get seen in stealth. It's a bad idea. Um, and then wait. Oh no! 